In this video, we'll be going over reverse nodes and k groups. So, given a linked list, reverse the nodes of a linked list k at a time and return its modified list. k is a positive integer and is less than or equal to the length of the linked list. If the number of nodes is not a multiple of k, then the left left out nodes in the end should remain as it is. And the follow up is can we solve it of one extra memory space? And we, we may not alter the value of the nodes, but the nodes um, itself may be changed. That means the pointers of the nodes can be changed. So in our first example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and k is equal to 2. So for each group of 2, we want to reverse them. Same for this, 3 and 4, we want to reverse them. And then there's a remaining one, remaining, which is not a multiple of k. So we, we can just append it to our resulting list, as we can see here. Um, in, in our first, second example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and k is equal to 3. The remaining nodes, 4 and 5, do not need to be reversed. They can just append it to our resulting list. So let's go through the thought process. We, uh, we will need to keep track of the current number of nodes that is in our current group. If the number of nodes, we can say counts, is equal to k, we will need to reverse the nodes in our current group. We can keep track of the current nodes. We can keep track of the nodes in our current group using two pointers. So one pointer M1 will keep track of the left will keep track of the left boundary of our group. One pointer N2 will scan forward to find new nodes. Now uh, let's go over the pseudocode. So we're, we're going to create the following variables. The first one is on the S head is the sentinel head of the resulting list. And then S tail is the sentinel tail of the, of the resulting list. So it's going to be initially equal to S head and counts is the number of nodes in our current group. And we also have n1 and n2, which is going to be our two pointers. Both of them is going to be initially equal to head. Now, while n2, the node that's currently scanning forward, is not equal to node, that means we still have nodes to process. We first want to save the next node. So create a node next and set it to n2.next because we may need to disconnect um, n2 or disconnect the current list to reverse it. Um, now we'll first increment the count. That means the key, um, increment the count of the current group, the number of nodes in the current group. If count is equal to k, we will need to reverse um, the current list. So we want to set n2.next to null. That is to disconnect the current node. So we only get the nodes from n1 to n2. So we want, now we want to reverse the nodes in between n1 and n2 to get the head, the reverse head, and reverse tail of the reverse list. Now we want to append, append the reverse list to our resulting list. So set s tail dot next to reverse head, and then set s tail to the reverse tail. Basically, you know, if we currently um, the resulting list is right here. We can append the head of the resulting list, uh, the reverse list to a resulting list, and then we're going to set a pointer to this location, the tail of the reverse list. This will allow us to continue on to append reverse list in, in the future. Now we're going to set M1 to next. Then this will allow us to put into go to the next group. Now we're going to set counts back to zero. We set reset the counts of our current group. And then else if next is equal to null. If next is go to node, that means we have uh, remaining nodes left, so we, we do not need to reverse anymore. We just need to append the resulting uh, the remaining number of nodes to our resulting list. So set s tail dot next to n one. Now we can we can set n two to next. 
we will always move our n2 forward. Then we can return the head of the resulting list. So sentinel head dot next. Now let's go over time and space complexity. So for the time complexity is equal to O of two times n. So you go to O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the input list. So O of two times n because we visit each node at most twice. So we visit once when we scan forward, and then we visit again when we try to reverse the list. So the space complexity is equal to O of one because we just modify the input list. Um, now let's go over the code. So we first create our the sentinel head and sentinel and sentinel tail for our resulting list. Tail is go to sentinel head. Now we're gonna create our pointers to be our n1 and n2. Both will initially start at head, and the count, the number of nodes in our current group. And while n2 is not equal to node, that means there's still nodes to process. We're gonna find. Um, we're first gonna save the next node, if, uh, because we may need to disconnect n2, and then we're gonna increment our counts. And if counts is equal to k, this means we we will need to reverse. Uh, uh, we'll first disconnect the current group before reversing it. So it's gonna be n2 dot next is go to node. And then we're going to list node of reverse. So we're, we're going to reverse the current group from n1 to n2. Then, we'll, then we want to um, append the head of the reverse list to our resulting list. So s tail dot next is go to reverse zero. That's going to be the head of our resulting list. And then we're going to, oh, no, that's the head of our reverse list. And then we'll continue on forward. Uh, from the tail of the reverse list. Now we're going to move our pointer one forward to n1 to next and reset our count back to zero. And then else if um, else if next is equal to no, that means we do not have any uh, any more nodes left. Um, and the current number of nodes is the remaining nodes. So we just need to append the remaining no nodes to our resulting list. So as tell the next is go to let's go to n1 and then we can set n2 is go to next and then we can turn the head of the resulting list. Now uh, let's create the method to allow us to reverse the list. List node n1 and list node n2. Now we are first going to create the reverse head, initially no, and the reverse tail, also no. So while n1 is not equal to no, we want to save the next node first. Actually, we just need n1. We don't need n2. Save the next node n1.next and then set n1.next to reverse head and then reverse head is go to n1. Now we if our tail is go to node, we want to save the current node as the tail of the reverse list. So our tail is go to our head and then we're gonna return the head and the tail of the reverse list. We would need to move a pointer forward, of course, and one to next. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you would like more content that will help you pass a technical interview. I upload videos every day, and if there are any topics you want me to cover, let me know in this comment section below.